Namaste, yogis and yoginis. Welcome once again to Yoga with Vic. And we can do a very quick tutorial on and cats and cats. Um, we do them all the time. You probably see them almost in every single flow because I love them. And I do variations and I just play around with them. But I'm just going to tell you exactly how it works. I'm not going to be super technical because then it could be very confusing, but at least you'll understand how they go. So let's go. First of all, in all fours. All four means hands and knees. So hands very strong. Open your fingers all the time and make sure they're right below your shoulders. You don't need to hyperextend, just be relaxed. So it means the eye of the elbow doesn't go forward, it just goes backwards or sideways, whatever it is. I just mean, don't go like this because that's too much. So just feel yourself all fours. Again, the knees are also kind of hip width apart. This is a neutral position. So from the neutral position, we're going to work on cats and cows. The cow is going to be dropping the belly towards the floor. So imagine someone is actually sitting on your back, which would be very painful. But you know, a light little bird is sitting here and then you're going down. So the tailbone is going up. So that means you're sticking your bum up pretty much. And you're looking towards the front, not looking up, not looking down, just looking towards the front. The horizon in this case I've got a beautiful palace and a beautiful little gazebo in front of me. It looks awesome. And then the shoulder blades are getting together. So they are making friends. So your chest is going down, you're looking to the front and your belly is going down. And you're is it sticking your bum up. This is the cow. And this comes always with an inhale. So I always visualize all the air coming and then being super heavy in my belly, boom, going down. And then when you exhale, then you start getting lighter. You leave the air out and then your back also gets lighter and goes towards the sky. And then the shoulder blades really separate and they don't like each other anymore. So they get as separated as possible, as far as possible. And then you look down, so you hang your head, you leave your head loose, rock and roll style. You look between the thighs, or you just close your eyes, which I love doing. Remember, hands are super strong. And then you're pushing, pushing away from you, from, the, from the mat. And then I want to think of cow as a, as a bridge, and then cat is a tunnel. So you're really giving space for something big to pass through. And then remember, because you're exhaling, then your navel goes towards the spine. So you're empty of air, and imagine you really have to put your waist as thin as possible and pull your stomach towards the back. And you'll feel a massive difference if you really leave your empty belly and, you know, the, uh, the navel goes towards the spine. And then really, really extend the spine towards the sky. And then the tail will get tucked in and comes towards the front. This would be the cat. Then we'll go to the cow again. The belly goes down. You look forward. The tailbone goes up. And remember, the shoulders get together. They retract. And then when we go to cat, exhale all the air. Drop the head. Shoulders protrude. So they get far away from each other and you push yourself away from the mat. Remember, navel towards the spine very, very intensely because there's no air between in, in, your, in your belly. So you really should feel that emptiness. Cow, the opposite direction. Look forward, tailbone goes up, spine goes down, and then come up. Exhale. Drop everything, separate shoulder blades, fan space between them, empty belly, navel towards the spine, extend the spine as much as you can, tailbone towards your face, and the cow again. To the front, looking up, and there we come to a neutral spine. And that would be pretty much it. I don't know if I'm leaving anything behind, but if I am, please ask me questions. It's a move that you can do so many times, even during the day. You can also do the seated version, 
which you can do like this, just X. That would be the exhale. Inhale, that would be the cow. Exhale, so from the side you can see it's pretty much the same move. So exhale, so navel towards the spine. Inhale, in a cow, and the chest goes forward. The shoulders get together, the shoulder blades, I mean, like towards the back, and then back and forth. And you can do that also sitting down if you're in your chair, if you're anywhere, or if you're sitting and waiting for something, it just, it works. And if you're sitting on a chair, you can also just, when you go back and forth, you can also massage your legs slightly. So cat and cow has a lot of different applications and it works in so many different ways. At the end of the day, it's just a movement of the spine going back and forth. And that's what you're going to be working out. So I hope you enjoy that. I hope to see you very shortly. Thank you again for being with me today. Namaste. See you very shortly.